Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss API management configuration in production. We'll discuss various scenarios, how do you configure API management in your project and what are the different considerations you should think about while configuring the API management in production. So at the end of this video, you should be able to know based on your project architecture, what would be the best possible configuration you should choose with your API management in production, which will be safe, secure, and fit to your design of your application architecture. Let's begin. So in the simplest scenario, when you have a project defined in Azure or in any cloud or on-premise, you have different layer of applications, like different multi-tier application, if I think discuss about the multi-tier application then you have the multiple tiers within your application where you have the before we begin the discussion of api management let's have a look at it about the simplest configuration of your project which you might have in your application in a typical scenario a multi-layer application or multi-tier application used to have a virtual network with various subnet configuration configured in it for example you might have a database tier which is configured in the data subnet you might have a api subnet which consists your all your api related services such as kubernetes service fabric or standalone apis hosted on the web app then you also have a web subnet in which you are web application is going to be hosted which will be exposed over the public internet which can be accessed by the end user or the internet this is how the typical scenario designed for any cloud application or any on-premise application there is another flavor of application which you might have seen wherein your application has only two layers so instead of designing or developing a ui layer it might possible your application just have the data layer and the api layer and your api layer is being consumed by various partners or consumers across the different different platform so in this case you are just building the apis which is connecting to the backend services or the backend database in this case we have the data subnet and the api subnet which consists the api subnet con contains all the services related to your API. The problem we have with this particular model is your APIs are exposed over the internet. It means all the metadata or the endpoints security configuration is exposed over the public internet and that's going to be a security risk. So in a big case of business critical application, your exposing your API is not a good idea. Even though your API would be protected with the help of that. The problem with this particular approach we have here is your APIs are exposed over the internet. Regardless of the security level your API will have such as authentication and authorizations or SSL security which is your transport layer security or any other custom security which your developer might have added on to your API. But exposing the api over the public internet as is is not a good idea especially when the applications are hosted on a cloud platform microsoft has provided api management as a service which you can use to define or decorate your apis so all your apis are going to be protected within the subnet of your virtual network and apis are going to be consumed by the api management so any consumer partner is willing to interact with your API, the interaction will be performed via the API management. And that's the whole idea of having the API management in place. I'm not saying that the API management only provides this capability. There are more, more, more and more advanced features available in the API management, but this is the whole idea. On other words, API management basically act as a proxy server for your APIs. So anyone who is willing to interact with your backend APIs 
they need to the interaction or the communication needs to go via the API management. Now the question remains same. Instead of exposing our APIs itself or the internet, we are exposing the API management or the internet for a business critical application. I'll still say, well, I'm not happy with the idea of exposing the API management itself on the public IP address or because the API management product has itself has three different parts of it the developer portal which you can see at the top the apis which is at the middle and the management endpoint in the api management developer portal gives you a user interface which anybody can sign in to your portal they can register or subscribe to your api and then test the api from the user interface itself they don't need any ui whereas the other endpoint is exposing the api itself via the api management third is the management endpoint of your api management this is the endpoint on which your api management itself will interact to the other part of your api management such as the internal api the rest api which interacts with the various component of your API management such as a user group product subscription and so on and so on now exposing these three components over the internet is not a good idea because it might possible your APIs are bound to a particular product and product has the RIC approvals configured or subscription approval configured but exposing the management endpoint and other stuff or the internet is not a good idea so what should we do in this case? Well, the best practices says that you're, it's possible to expose your, configure your API management within the subnet. And now your API management is configured as the internal configuration. So now your virtual network will have an additional subnet, which we are going to call it as the API subnet, APIM subnet. And within the subnet, we are going to define our API management. Remember the point here, when we are going to host our API management into the subnet, we need to define a SIP dedicated subnet in which there will be only API management service is going to be configured. So we need to have a, a clean dedicated subnet reserved for this particular service. Well, in this case, your API management is now internal. What does it mean? It means that your API management basically will not be exposed over the internet. So any partner services or the application will not be able to interact over the internet because it's not going to be accessible because it's internal. So any services who is willing to access these API management component, they won't be able to interact it. That's not what we want. What should we do now? So the next best possible solution is to add the front facing layer of the application. So what do we do in this case is we introduce the application gateway in place as a security layer on top of the API management. So now our subnet in a production scenario should have a fourth subnet, which is a gateway subnet or the application gateway subnet whatever you call it doesn't matter so that subnet we are going to define our application gateway and then application gateway will have a public IP address exposed to it and any communication which will be required to communicate by the API management or the underneath backend APIs and database so on is going to be happen via the application gateway you might wonder why do we need the application gateway as a service and what benefit it will give. Just to let you know, application gateway itself a security and the firewall service. It has provided a built-in security and it provides the firewall, additional firewall layer for your application. So any incoming request, if a request is having some vulnerabilities, then application gateway will take care of those kind of vulnerabilities and it will not pass the request to API management and the underneath backend APIs. 
So that's how you should design your application on the production. And this is what the recommendation is given by the Microsoft. So in, now we will have a demonstration and we'll see how do you define your with the help of application gateway and API management.